Hi everybody, Ann Katzif here. I want to show you today how to create an Illustrator file with bleeds. What the heck are bleeds? When you have uh, colors or images that touch the edge of a, a piece of paper, the way that gets accomplished is inside the file you build an extra amount of space for the images to extend beyond the edge of the paper. Then that file gets printed on a larger sheet of paper that gets trimmed down. So in other words, the bleed extends beyond the edge and then gets cut off. So I don't know why they call it a bleed, but that's what they do. So to create a file in Illustrator that has bleeds is actually a pretty straightforward process. So let's get to it. Get ready. All right, so first you have to launch the Illustrator program. And then you'll want to go to uh, the menu up at the top of the screen where it says File and go all the way to New, which is all the way. It's the very first thing that you see, Command-N or Control-N on uh, a PC. You'll get this window called the New Document Window. Uh, this will be a print piece, so let's choose the Print tab and choose the measurement that comes the closest to what you need uh, for what we're doing today. We'll go with Letter. I'm going to title it Test 900, <laughs> just for fun. The default in Illustrator for the measurements are points, but it's easiest for us to think in terms of inches. You'll have this default because it's a letter size. You'll have this default measurement of eight and a half by 11, but we'll change that just to show you that you can. Eight inch wide by 10 inch high. The orientation will be portrait. You can also do landscape, which is this wider view, and you can also um, change the number of artboards now, here's my recommendation. Uh, there are occasions in Illustrator where you might need two artboards, one for the back of something, one for the front. For example, a business card or a brochure. Anything beyond two sides or two pages, I would recommend you go into uh, InDesign and do your layout there because InDesign is a page layout program. Illustrator uh, has some limitations in handling multiple pages. So that's just a little tip for you. And now here's the bleed area. Very, very simple. Uh, the standard width of a bleed is one eighth of an inch. So 0.125. And before I do anything else, I want to point out this chain link is activated, which means when I hit my tab key, all the other fields will fill in with the same information as the first one. 0.125 is one eighth of an inch. Some printers do want you to go up to maybe a quarter of an inch, maybe even a half inch. So you should really check with them, even though the standard is one eighth of an inch. For print pieces, your color mode should be CMYK not RGB, that's for screen, CMYK. And that's pretty much all that you need to do. There is this thing called more settings. And the only differences I can see in the more settings screen versus the new document screen is when you change the number of artboards, let's say you change it to two, you have this option of how to handle the layout of the artboards on your screen. That could be useful. And the other thing is you can change your raster effects. For print, we do want 300 PPI, but maybe for some occasions you only want 150 or 72. So those are the only two things I can see that um, are different between the two windows. Uh, you can create the document right here from the More Settings 
window by clicking Create Document or Cancel, go back to the original New Document window and, you know, create right here by uh, pressing this Create button. So, here we are. There's a blank um, file for us. The white area represents the paper and this red border represents the bleed. So naturally I wanted to show you um, how this bleed setting plays out. Um, you can have the entire sheet with what we call a full color bleed, which is all sides, top, bottom, left, right, or just certain parts of the sheet of paper have bleeds on it. So I wanted to show you the top area here, okay, it's just on the white. There's no need for a bleed. Nothing is touching the edge. But at this bottom section, with all these images, in my design, I'm envisioning when the piece is printed, those images will actually touch the edge of the paper. And to accomplish that, I have to extend them a little bit beyond the trim, and that little bit is what we call the bleed. And it has to be an eighth of an inch in most cases. So that extends a half inch on the left, the bottom, and the right. Then when I give this file to my printer, they print it on a larger sheet of paper. When I say larger, larger than the 8 by 10 inches that we set up for this. And then they trim off the excess. They trim off the bleed. Okay, And that, my friends, is how you create an Illustrator file with a bleed. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. If you have any questions or helpful t uh, hints for me, feel free to email me at Anne at askdesign.biz um, and also feel free to leave comments if you have anything you'd like to share. Thanks very much and have a great day.